all right guys so thanks for joining me once again so now let me show you how you can easily set up your shopify store so the first thing i want you to do now is go to the division of the video i'm going to add a link to shopify at the division of the video when you click the link it's going to bring you up to a page like this so when getting to this page you're going to gain access to three month free trial and all you have to pay for this three months is just one dollar per month all right so normally um, Shopify is going to give you a free trial of 30 days, then you start paying. But when you go to the channel video and click the link, you're going to gain access to this three month free trial that is going to cost you just one dollar per month. All right, so once you've done that, once you've clicked the link, the next thing I want you to do now is come over here, then enter your email address. All right, so we can begin the process. All right, so once you've entered your email address, the next thing I want you to do is click on start free trial so once you click on start feature trial it's going to ask you some basic questions so it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong so this is just a quick questionnaire to help them improve the shopify platform so here it says let's get started which of this best describe you so if you are just getting started you can just click i am just starting then after that scroll here and click on next so here it says uh, where would you like to sell so obviously you want to sell on your online store so here you're going to click on online store so after that you're going to click on next so here it says what do you plan to sell first all right so i'm going to go with job shipping because i want to use my shopify stuff for job shipping so the next thing i'm going to do is come over here then click on next so here it's going to ask you where your country is located so what you want to do is from the drop down you can just um, select your country so based on where you have select your country and after that click on next so we can proceed to the next stage so the next thing you want to do now is continue with your email all right so what you want to do is click on continue with email so here is going to ask you to enter a password for your shopify account all right so i'm just going to generate a password for this then i'm going to click on create shopify id so we can gain access to our shopify account so from inside the account we can now start customizing the stop all right so here click on cost and create shopify id so as you can see it's creating your shopify account so this is just going to take a moment and we'll be able to access our Shopify dashboard. All right, so as you can see, our Shopify account has just been created and this is our Shopify dashboard. So from here, we can now start customizing our account. All right, so as you can see here, it says, um, enjoy your first three months for $1 per month and get $50 USD to use in the Shopify app store. All right, so if you want to pick a plan, just come over here. So as you can see, they have um, three basic plans. So the first plan is going to cost you $1 for the next three months. So after that, it's going to start at $20 four dollar each month so the next one is going to cost you also one dollar for the next three months then after that it's going to start at 69 dollar per month and the next one is going to cost you equal one dollar then after that it's going to cost you 299 dollar per month all right so um, what you want to do is you want to choose um, the basic here all right now the reason we are choosing a plan is because if you don't choose a plan your store won't be visible to people that um, is going to visit your store all right uh, so let me quickly show you what i mean by that all right so just come over here then click on home then come over to online store so as you can see here it says your online store is password protected so to remove the password pick a plan so this is the reason we want to pick a plan first all right so what you want to do is like i said that i just click on uh, pick a plan and it's going to redirect you to the payment way so basically this is what you're going to be choosing which is the first one the basic plan all right so click on choose basic here so here is going to ask you do you want to pay monthly or you want to pay yearly all right so just click on confirm billing cycle here so here is going to ask you to enter your address all right so here you want to enter your name so here i'm going to enter my name then after that, I'm going to add uh, my address here. So I've just entered my address. So I'm going to click on save address. So my address has been saved. So here, what you want to do now is choose the payment method you want to use for your Shopify subscription. So if you want to go with credit or debit card, all you simply need to just click on it. And if you want to go with PayPal, you want to use PayPal for your subscription, all you simply need to do is just click on PayPal. So I'm going to choose my payment method so we can proceed. All right, so as you can see, I've just added my credit card. So as you can see here, it is we won't charge you onto your free trial ends all right all right so since we've done that so what you want to do now is come over here then click on subscribe 
so the next thing you want to do now just come over here then click on no thanks all right so this is just an upsell so click on no thanks all right so now that we've picked the plan so the next thing we want to do now is start customizing our shopify store so here it says you can now remove your password so if you click on view your store there's going to be nothing on your store so let's just preview it and see what we have there all right so this is your store so there's currently nothing on your store so what we want to do now is start customizing the store so it can look appealing to our customer all right so what you want to do is come back here so this is the current team you are using so if you scroll down here you'll be able to change the team all right so this is the team i usually use all right so what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on add team so it's installing the team here so once the team is installed so we can start customizing the stock so the team has been added so what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on publish all right so i'm going to click on publish so click on publish so the team has been published so you want to click on remove password all right so as you can see here it says your online store is open to everyone so the next thing we want to do now is to start customizing the store so click on customize here okay so from here you can now start editing your store before we start customizing the store before we start designing the store what you want to do is you want to add a product to your store first so i'm going to click on exit here so we can add product to our store so there is an app i use in adding product to my store so what this app does is that it helps you import a product that is already built on a shopify website so this is going to save you time and stress all you have to do is just edit the word and make it look like a new page so you don't copy and paste directly on your website so the name of the app is called uh, the name of the app is called copy so if you come over here click on add app so just go to shopify app store so when you click on shopify app store it's going to redirect you to where you can find any app all right so this is where we have a um, list of app we're going to be using for our shopify store all right so the first one we're going to be installing is um copy app so this help you copy product from any shopify website so just click on copy so here it says um, it's going to cost you 2.99 dollar per month and it comes with a one day free trial all right so i'm going to install it all right so here what you want to do is you want to come over here and click on install app then so what you want to do here is come here and click on approve so we've installed the app and the app is ready to work all right so the next thing you want to do now is you want to come over here then click on import a single product or import multiple products so if you have multiple products you want to import from your website all you have to do is just come on import multiple product then paste the link here so we're going to be um, importing a single product so click on import a single product so this is the store here so what you want to do is you want to copy the url of the product so i'm going to click on copy then i'm going to come back here then i'm going to paste it here so i'm going to show you how you can add product to your shopify store using this copy app then i'm also going to show you how you can use another platform like cj dropshipping to add a um, product to your shopify store now this is if you want to use your shopify store for dropshipping and if you want to sell a single product you can just look for the product import it to your store then start editing it and add your own pricing plan all right so let's begin with the copy app all right so what you want to do here is enter the url of the product you want to copy so after that just click on import and it's going to import the product so what you want to do here is you want to check the product before you import it all right so if you want to change the title of the product you can change the title of the product here so if you want to change the um, product log the url you can also do that here. and if you also want to adjust the pricing you can do that here come over here then adjust the pricing so if you also want to compare the pricing you can just come over here then add a higher price then it's going to make this as the sale price so you can scroll down then look at the description if you want to change the description just add your own words or remove some of the word add your own to it and after that if you see if you check and see if everything is okay all you simply need to do, just click on import button so if you want to make the product to be published directly on your store all you simply need to do, just click on this publish to online store on import and um, on tick this taxable button here or if you want to charge tax on your product you can also take this just click on this so after that just click on import product all right so as you can see now the product has been imported so what you want to do is you want to click on view product here 
All right, so this is the product, and the reason the product is showing uh, my local currency is because I haven't changed my currency to USD. If you want to sell the product in your country, you can leave it at the default currency. But if you want to sell to international markets, that is, if you want to use it for um, dropshipping, all you simply need to do is just come back here, then click on settings, so you can change your um, your currency on the store. So here, as you can see, it says your stock currency. So from here, you can click on it, then sign for us dollar all right so let me search for us dollar. so this is us dollar so i'm going to uh, change it to us dollar then after that i'm going to click on save here all right so i've just changed it so you can now go back here so if you go back here then um, refresh this so let me quickly refresh this and see if the pricing is going to change all right so it has changed to dollar here but i have to go back and change the pricing of the product so it can correspond all right so i'm going to go back here then i'm going to cancel this then i'm going to come over to products all right so this is products so i'm really going to edit the product here so we can proceed to editing the the stock so here i'm going to come over here then i'm going to change the price to 19 dollar 0.99 so this is 19 dollar 0.99 then after that i'm going to click on save here all right so the next thing we want to do now is to start um designing the stock so what you want to do is you want to come over to online store here all right so you want to click on customize so once you click on customize it's going to show you the home page so just click on the drop down menu here and select product so it's going to bring out the product page so this is the default product so click on it and it's going to show us the product so from here you can now start editing the your store look so what we want to do first is we want to add a logo to uh, our shopify store so come over here then click on settings then click on logo here so when you click on logo here you'll be able to select logo here so click on select image then i want to come over here then i want to look for upload so i'm going to click on add image so i'm going to um, check for it so this is it so i'm going to click on it so i'm going to click on open then it's going to install the image all right so this is the image so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on done here so i've just added the logo so what you want to do is you want to come over to desktop logo with here then you want to drag this here so you can increase the boldness of the logo so i'm just going to leave it at 200 here all right so this is it so if you want to increase it more you can also make it um, go up to like 250 so far it's not too big so if you want to check how it looks like on a mobile version all you simply need is you just come over here and click on mobile here so when you click on mobile here you can see it here so this is the logo so the next thing we want to do now is to start changing the color of the team so come over here and click on color here so when you click on color so we're going to come here choose the first one so the background color we want to make the background color to be white so this is it so i'm, doing, I'm going to choose white here then after that i'm going to come to background gradient here then we're going to remove the let's we're going to remove the gradient so here come over here and click on remove gradient so i'm going to delete the gradient all right so as you can see now the background is now white so as you can see now the the, the logo has matched the has matched the color on the website so the next thing we want to do is we want to change the color here and we also want to change the color here so let's go back then choose this one so here you want to remove the gradient as well so scroll down then remove gra gradient all right so i've removed the gradient so we want to change this color we want to make it look like something that is similar to our logo so what you want to do here is you want to click on the background image here. Yeah? so click on background image then click on something that is similar to the color so i'm going to click on this so this is it so after that i'm going to drag it here okay so this is it all right so i'm going to copy the code so the code is copy in case i want to reuse it so let's scroll down so the down section is also changed all right so what you want to do now is you want to come over here then you want to click on save so we've just um save it so if you want to um, preview it and see what it looks like so you, so you can come over here then click on view as you can see now this is it so let me click on the product here so when i click on the product you're going to see it has changed all right so here what we want to do now is we want to remove this um buy it now button here 
so come over here then come here so click on the buy it now button here so when you click on it it's going to bring out this so it says i'm um, sure dynamic um checkout button so untick this so when you untick this it's going to remain the only add to cart button here so the next thing you want to do is you want to save so i'm going to click on save so i've just saved that so let's um check again and see how it looks like all right so we have the add to cart button here so i think everything is um, looking like what we are modeling so you check this uh if you check this you can see that we have this um discount um bulk product here. And so the next thing we want to do now is to add that to our store so but before we do that let's quickly edit the home page so come over here and click on home so when you click on home it's going to show you this all right so what you want to do is you want to change this image yeah so i'm going to click on change i'm going to click on this now i'm going to come over here to the right section here i'm going to click on explore free image so click on explore free image yeah look for something that is related to the product you are selling so let me go with this so i'm going to click on select so i've just selected so here i'm going to come over here then i'm going to click on save all right so let's look at it on mobile on mobile phone and see how it's going to look like so this is how your store is going to look like on mobile all right so here you want to um, let's change it back to desktop then what you want to do now is you want to change this um this shop now button from black to what we have on the product page so if you click on the products if you click on the product here so you can see that um the add to cart uh, button is the color is different from what, what we have on the home page so let's go back to home page then um, we're going to be changing this all right so i'm going to come over here then i'm going to click on settings then i'm going to come over here which says um, solid button background so click on this when you click on this so you're going to choose the color code which is web among the recently used so i'm going to select this as you can see this has changed so the next thing you want to do now is you want to come over here then click on save so once you saved it you want to come over here then i want to come to the home page here then check if it has changed so as you can see it has already changed so the next thing we want to do now is add um, the footer section to our store so let's go back to our store so here we want to exit here then we want to come to settings so click on settings so when you click on settings you want to scroll down here then um, look for policy so this is policy so what you want to do is you want to come over here then what you want to do is you want to generate the policy that is going to be at the footer of your website so what you want to do is you just want to click on generate from template so once you click on generate from template what you want to do is you want to add your own email address and there are some text you want to remove there so from uh, like this insert return address you want to make sure this is not there you can either add your address there or you remove it so once you've done that what you want to do is you want to scroll down again then come over to privacy policy then click on create from templates so all of this all these um, highlighted in yellow you want to delete them so after that all you want to do is come to terms of service then click from um, template so just scroll through it and look for what shouldn't be there and add your own so for example you need to um, remove this or add the insert or add the necessary address so for the shipping policy you can just um, put uh, we ship between um, 7 to 14 days here yeah? then for the contact information you want to add your contact information here okay, then after that all you simply need to do is just click on save so once you've done that next thing you want to do now is you want to come over here then click on navigation here on the left hand side so i'm going to click on navigation so here you want to come over to footer menu so here click on um, footer menu here so when you click on footer menu you'll be able to add all those menu we just created so here all you simply need is just click on um, add menu here then um, come over here or um, click on this then come over to policy here yeah? so when you come over to policy you'll be able to add all this so click on um, privacy policy so click on add then after that all you simply need to do again just come over here click on add menu again then search for policy click on policy then add a refund policy then click add again then click on add menu again 
come over here then go to policy again then click on terms of service then click on add again so all you just want to do you want to make sure you had all of the necessary things there so you can also have your contact information then click on add again then after that all you simply need to do is just click on save menu all right so the next thing you want to do now is um go over to your online store so you're going to click on online store all right so once you click on online store click on customize again so after that what you want to do is you want to come over to the footer section here so click on footer here then you're going to see add blocks so click on add blocks so here what you want to do is you want to click on menu here so once you click on menu it's going to add the menu we just created automatically so as you can see so we have the privacy policy refund policy terms of service and contact information so this is basically how you can use the shopify platform to set up a dropshipping website for any product you want to sell or you use it to sell your own personal product all right so like i said earlier i'm going to have a link at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video click the link there and use the link to set up your shopify store